Hello friends, welcome to the Take Better Photos channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to use a compound mask, one of the core new features of Affinity Photo 2.0. Despite compound masks being one of the core features, there doesn't seem to be much explanation on how to use this. And so that's why I'm creating this foundational video. But before we go into the demo, let's start off with some concepts starting with what is a compound mask. A compound mask lets you combine multiple mask layers non-destructively using Boolean operations. We're going to learn about Boolean operations later on. So the idea here is you can edit each mask layer independently of each other. We typically use a compound mask with live masks. Before we apply the compound mask to an actual image, let's run through first how these Boolean operations work. The first Boolean operation is the add operation. The add operation is the default operation. When you do the add operation, you're combining by adding the different tones. So what you're gonna get is an overall brighter mask than any single mask. We're gonna look at an example later on to make this clearer. The second operation is the subtract operation. In a subtract operation, you reduce the compound by removing the object's area from the objects below it. What you're going to get is a darker mask. The third operator is called the intersect operator. The intersect operator modifies the compound by only showing the overlapping areas. If you're familiar with an AND operation in Boolean operations, this is something like an AND operation. The fourth operator is called the XOR operator. And this is something like an OR operation with a slight difference, which I'll explain later on. Okay, so let's demonstrate the concept of Boolean operators with some examples here in Affinity Photo. So first, how do you create the compound mask? So to create a compound mask, you simply click on the mask layer button here and then just choose compound mask and that will create the compound mask and then we can add masks in them so typically what you're going to be adding is a live mask these masks are generated computationally based on the characteristics of an image to make things simple i'm just going to create a basic mask to create the mask inside the compound mask you just choose the mask layer choose mask here and then you will have two masks inside the compound mask you can collapse this list of masks by clicking on this disclosure button here right so that's how you create the compound mask so now that we know how to create the compound mask how do the boolean operators work so here i've created the compound mask with two masks how the mask looks like you can see via the thumbnail here if you want to see the mask with a bigger view, you can just option click on the thumbnail, right? So this is the first mask. This is the top mask here. This is the bottom mask. By default, the compound will have an add operator. So how will we know what the compound mask will look like based on these two masks? It's very simple. You also have to option click the compound mask. So if I option click the compound mask, you can see that it's just in pure white. And the reason for that is the tones from these two masks were added together. This dark gray portion here of the bottom mask was just added to the light gray portion at the top to produce this white color. And that goes all across the masks. All of these tones were just added together to produce this mask, which is in pure white. So that is an add operator. So let's go into the subtract operator. So I'm just going to click subtract here. So as you can see here, the subtract operator produced a different result. This dark gray portion of the top mask is being subtracted from this light gray portion. In binary, it's approximately 1 minus 0. And that produces the light color portion here in this left side. If we move across the mask here, the top and the bottom 
tones towards the middle are the same. So when you subtract it, what you get is pure black. And here in the right portion of the mask, the bottom mask has a darker shade than the top mask. So what you're getting get is pure black. There cannot be negative values in a mask. So this is basically 0 minus 1, and the result is 0. Now let's move on to the next operator, which is the intersect operator. So this is the intersect operator now. So the intersect operator is something like an AND operator in Boolean operations. An AND operator will take the lower value between the mask. Looking at this in the left portion of this mask, the result is dark because the lowest value among the mask is the bottom mask. In the middle portion, they're roughly the same, so you're getting the same color. And the right portion, the lowest value is this dark shade, and that's what you're getting. This is uh, something like an AND operator. For those who don't know what an AND operator is, the intersect will simply just get the darker shade. So that's the intersect operator. And the final operator is the XOR operator. So the XOR operator in Boolean operations is an OR operation. In plain English, that simply means that the lighter shade will always be chosen between the two masks. The twist is because this is an XOR operator, if the two shades are the same, then the resulting mask will be zero, which is black. So as you can see, if the shades are not the same, the lighter shade is always chosen. But if the shades become the same, then the result is zero. All right, so those are the four types of operators available to you. And you can play around with this to produce the mask that you want, as we're going to be demoing in a real live editing example.